All right, here we are. Another little grizzly update. Today we finished um, finished mounting the bellows and all the stuff that was uh, made to make it work. Uh, so yeah, this is the back of the Y, and this is the table that like fully you know extended. So we have a head spacer on this machine, but the screw for the Y is like a stock length. So um, yeah, the head spacer is more for like clearance for like the motor and all that, and you know we utilize some of that area for you know, the bellows so they're not as, you know, crazy compressed when uh, the table travels back that far. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with how they uh, turned out. Today we glued the bellows with VHB to like the metal uh, end parts. And um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me move the table and um, we'll check it out. So that's the table all the way back. And you could see, you know, the bellows are definitely, I mean, they're compressed, but they're not, you know, they still got some wiggle in them. You know, I was concerned about like the chips and stuff, you know, inevitably cutting those, but I figure, you know, if you get a couple of years out of each one, you know, keep old Leo Lee and Shandong in the business. So now we'll do the, uh, We'll do the Z. So this right now, the Z is at uh, the full travel. So it's up all the way. You can see the uh, linear rails are, you know. So I'll grab the drill and we'll uh, scoot this thing down and see what she does. So that's the uh, column all the way down, and you can see that the uh, bellows is really tight, but I mean, if you tried to lower the column down that far with the head on and, you know, a vise that's like, you know, a quarter inch, you know, off the table, you can barely get a tool holder in there. So um, all in all, I think we're happy, you know? So, you know, lots of this stuff I have no idea you know, until the machine's actually working, if it's a good idea or a bad idea. So, part of the fun, I guess. Anywho, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, we're going to, uh, I guess, move on to limit switches next. And then uh, got some of these here, little micro switches from McMaster Focus. Um, there's some like little IP65 waterproof jobbers and uh, I guess we're gonna we're gonna go with home switches. So put the Z up here at the top for the X and Y. Um, I don't know if it matters or not, but I don't know if the table you know is supposed to home that way and the saddle is supposed to go that way or vice versa, or if it even matters. Um, I just thought maybe there's like a standard or something that you know is uh, considered normal, and uh, I guess I want to do that. So. Anywho, I guess that's it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.